Hi, welcome back to the Oki Smoking Channel. My name is John, and today look at what we got here today. A nice pork butt. This thing re this thing's about 10 pounds. It's the biggest one I've ever done. I've got hooks on it. I'm going to try to use three. I haven't tried to put it on yet to help stabilize it. And we're going to hang it. I've got the meter a plus probe right here to help check the internal temperature uh, while it's in the process of cooking. So if you've watched some of my videos, you probably know how I do a lot of them these days is I just went ahead and got this out, rinsed it off, patted it dry a little bit, added some uh, nice olive oil and just rub that all on it and used my SPG. I put it on there pretty good, coated it up, and let it set on the counter for a little while while I went ahead and got the pit barrel uh, set up, which it is, you can see. It's all nice and ready, smoking. And I'm just doing a charcoal with this. I, sometimes you can add hickory, you can add mesquite, you could do all that. Didn't have any, or I might, but I just didn't have any on hand. So we're just going to do straight charcoal with this one. So like I said earlier, I've got three hooks on here. I'm going to try to put two on one bar and one on another bar. And we're just going to see how this goes. I'm going to cook it to about 160 degrees and I'll wrap it. The final temperature we want is at about 203. It's seven, a little after seven, about 730 in the morning right now. So I'll let you know how long it takes for the complete cook of this big, really, really big uh, pork butt. So I'm going to put one hook right here and hopefully Got two hooks right there. Originally, I was going to try to do more of a hammock, but this thing was so big, it's, I just decided to hang it like this, and I think we're going to be fine. Fire's cranking up, better get this lid on. So that's really the gist of it. Uh, going to let this cook now till it gets to the temperature that I want of around 160 and I'll wrap it. I'll be back at that point. Uh, but really, I've used, uh, this is the pit barrel and I've used the beef and game rub on this many times and it works well. So if you have that, you just want salt, you just want pepper, your favorite seasoning. Uh, this is just a little mix I made, a little salt, a little pepper, a little vine uh, vinegar, a little salt, pepper, garlic, and a uh, little paprika in there in that mix I use. And it's going to come out fantastic. Hopefully this will make some great sandwiches later today. Uh, so in the meantime, it's just wait and uh, let this thing do its job. And welcome back. It's been six hours now um, and we're at 165 degrees on this pork butt. Now this was a very large one and don't get caught up on the time too much. I've cooked these many a time. Sometimes they are cooked at a faster rate. Sometimes they are a little slower. Uh, this one took a while to get to 165, uh, but it was also partially frozen when I started. Um, I'd been thawing it out for a couple of days, but let's take a look. Just take a look at that. Looks beautiful. I did add uh, some new charcoal in the bottom uh, as the temperature was going down a little bit just a bit ago just to keep the fire hot. I have had it run out at times and slow down the process so this will push us through with no issues. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and then we're going to go ahead and wrap it up and put it on the grate and let it cook till it's about 203. I want it all the way to at least 203. It'll hopefully that bone will come right up. <laughs> it's going to be great. So uh, let me go ahead and get this taken off. Let's get it wrapped in some butcher paper. Put it back on.
good. That tight. So it's wrapped, beers put on, you could use beer, apple juice, some kind of liquid to help keep this moist. And let me tell you, this is ridiculously tender. And let me show you what I, let me show you what I mean. This is the hooks that was in the meat. I usually pull it at about 165. I let this one go to 160, or I usually pull it at 160. I let this one go to 165. Any more would have been in trouble. It's best to pull it a little early before it gets too tender because these no longer hold it. They were holding it, but as soon as I started to pull it out, the tenderness of this pork butt gave way. It fell in. I was able to rescue it quick. I didn't get footage of that because I didn't want it to burn up and all that. So I was just taking priority, got it out, got it in there to the table. It'll be fine. Hit the coals a little bit. It flared up. Not going to hurt anything. Uh, we got it wrapped, got the beer on, but this is why you don't want to hang it too long. You let it go by itself too long. It's going to fall in and, and it'll just cremate itself. Uh, uh, this happened during the takeout. Everything was still hanging, but I could tell when I was taking that it was jello-y really jello-y um, and what happened was it act I'll show you so here it is now on here after we've got it wrapped but as I was removing it everything was coming up fine and then part of it just kind of got stuck right here and when it did it flew in so this is a, uh, a lesson, first of all, don't let it get too jello-y. Second of all, I was gonna say you might take one of these out first, but since we're using both, if you had two people, you might take the hook off this and remove this, or if you could do it and then get, I don't know. I would just say, you gotta be careful. I have actually lost uh, a brisket when I first started using this thing and didn't know it. Uh, and since then I've used multiple hooks. You can also use uh, a triple hook method, uh, which I have in one of my videos, uh, to where you actually go from hook to hook to hook to help keep things from falling in. Uh, it's just if you cook them too long uh, before you wrap them. But we got it done just in time. Uh, it's exciting to see how tender it is, but when I lost it, whoo! Uh, but, uh, but now we're just gonna wait till it gets to its final 203, 203 degrees. That's what we're looking for. This thing is going to be good. I can tell you that. Um, it's right now approaching, what, five, six hours. We started at 7.30 this morning. I think we're at 1.30 in the afternoon. Give this thing a few hours, let that temperature come up. It may not even take that long. I don't know how long it's gonna take, uh, but when it's at 203, that's why I go buy your thermometer uh, more than time. You can cook the same thing one day and it'll get done sooner or later. And that happens with any smoker, really. Uh, so cook it to the temperature. Each meat has its own personality. Can't wait till this is done. I'll be back in a bit with this thing completely cooked. And if you are new here, be sure and subscribe. My name is John. This is the Oki Smoking Channel right here in the state of Oklahoma where I do all my cooking or the majority of it outdoors. There may be something inside once in a while when it's cold and, and what have you, but the majority of it's cooked on the pit barrel, the Blackstone. So here it is. I went ahead and took it out of the smoker. We're between 200 and 203 degrees uh, when you check the temperature. So let's go ahead and open this up. I mean, just look at that. It's beautiful. Here it kind of came apart. It is just so, I mean, you can't move it 
without it tearing. So let me take a fork to this. Just look at that. You're going to be able to just peel that right off. Look at that. And you're going to be able to make a sandwich. This thing, you can see the steam coming off of it. <laughs> I got to taste this. We got to see what this is. Tastes like. It took about 11 hours. It is amazing. Mm. See you guys in the next video. This is wow.